In this video, we will discuss the steps required for upgrading your Hyperflex environment from 3.5 to version 4.0. We will also cover the process to upgrade your UCS firmware as well as your ESXi software. Let's walk through the entire workflow of the upgrade process, and later on in this video, I will demonstrate each step in greater detail. In our example today, we will be upgrading Hyperflex from 3.5 to H to version 4.0 2C. Overall, there are two main phases of the upgrade process. The pre-upgrade phase includes the actions needed prior to starting the upgrade, and the combined upgrade phase will involve a combined upgrade of your Hyperflex, UCS server firmware, and ESXi software version. So let's begin by talking about what actions need to be taken prior to actually starting the upgrade. So first, you will need to download the appropriate software bundles required for the upgrade process. This will include the UCS infrastructure bundle, the UCS B series and C series firmware bundles, the Hyperflex StoreFS upgrade bundle, and lastly, the ESXi upgrade software. Next, you will need to run a pre-upgrade check utility, which will identify all of the items that need to be addressed prior to starting your upgrade. Once the pre-upgrade check is complete and all necessary items are addressed, you will need to upgrade your UCS infrastructure, which specifically includes the UCS manager software, as well as the firmware for both of your fabric interconnects. Keep in mind that the UCS server firmware will be upgraded at a later step. Also, if required, you will need to upgrade your vCenter server at this stage. Once the pre-upgrade phase is completed, we can now begin the upgrade process. In our example, later on in this video, we will be performing a combined upgrade of all three components from the HX Connect UI. Now that we've covered the high-level overview of the steps required to perform an upgrade for your Hyperflex environment, let's dive in and go into each of these steps in greater detail. Log on to software.cisco.com slash download slash home to find the appropriate software needed to upgrade your Hyperflex environment. As you can see here, for this example, we will be upgrading UCS to 4.04i Hyperflex to 4.02c and ESXi to version 6.7 update 3. Keep in mind for the UCS software specifically, the infrastructure bin file will depend on your specific model of Fabric Interconnect. For this video, I have a 6300 series Fabric Interconnect, so I will be needing the UCS-6300-K9 infrastructure bundle. The B series and C series software bundles are not dependent on the server model or fabric interconnect model. Once you have all of your software images downloaded, you will need to perform a pre-upgrade check with the available hypercheck script that you may download from github.com slash cisco devnet slash hyperflex dash hypercheck. You may also click on the following link to view detailed instructions on how to successfully run the utility. Once you have downloaded the HyperCheck zip bundle, you will need to upload the zip file to your HyperFlex storage controller virtual machine, which holds the HyperFlex cluster IP. As you can see here, I have already uploaded the zip bundle to my storage controller VMs slash temp directory, which is listed below. Navigate to your slash temp directory and then unzip the HyperCheck zip bundle. So you would type unzip hyperflex dash, and you can tab out, should say hypercheck dash master dot zip, hit enter. Once the extraction is complete, you will need to navigate to the new directory of slash temp slash hyperflex dash hypercheck dash master and then execute the Python script. You would type Python hx tool.py. Hit enter. You'll need to enter in the root password of your Hyperflex cluster. 
and then you'll need to enter in the ESXi root password as well. As you can see here, the pre-upgrade script is currently running. Please allow three to 10 minutes, depending on how many converge nodes currently exist in your Hyperflex cluster. Once the HyperCheck pre-upgrade script is completed, you can view the results, which are located in var slash log slash spring path. If you observe that any of the checks have come back in a fail status, please reach out to Cisco technical support for further guidance. Now we will cover how to perform a UCS infrastructure upgrade. This will require logging into the UCS Manager virtual IP, uploading the appropriate UCS software, and finally performing a UCS infrastructure auto install. Log in to UCS Manager. I'm going to log in as admin. Click on the equipment icon on the upper left corner, select firmware management, then click on download firmware. From here, we will be uploading all of our UCS firmware images that we had downloaded earlier from cisco.com. Navigate to where you have your images stored. I'm going to select the infrastructure bundle first, then click OK. Complete this step for the UCS infrastructure as well as your UCSB and C series images. Once all of your UCS bundles have been uploaded, click on the equipment icon, navigate to firmware management then select Firmware Auto Install. From here, select Install Infrastructure Firmware. There is a warning screen that will simply state to address any critical or major faults that may affect the UCS infrastructure upgrade in any way. In our case, we will select Ignore All and then Next. Select 4.0, 4i, from the InfraPack drop-down menu. Select the Upgrade Now checkbox and click Finish. Select Yes. Hit OK. Each Fabric Interconnect will be upgraded one at a time to ensure that an active path is available so that you do not have to take downtime in order to complete the UCS Manager upgrade. If required, please also upgrade your vCenter server prior to moving on to the HyperFlex Combine upgrade, which is coming up next. After the UCS infrastructure and vCenter server upgrades are complete, we are now ready to begin the HyperFlex Combined upgrade process. This will take place within your HX Connect UI. Open up a web browser and enter in your Hyperflex cluster IP. Log in with administrator privileges. Once you are logged in, click on the upgrade tab. Select HXDP, UCS Server Firmware, and ESXi. At this point, you will need to upload your StoreFS package as well as your ESXi upgrade bundle. Select StoreFS package, hit Open. Once that is complete, go ahead and click here to upload the ESXi upgrade bundle. Hit open. Allow that to complete. 
For the server firmware, you will need to enter the UCS manager information. Specify the username. Select Discover. When this drop down appears, select 4.04i. And lastly, you will need to provide credentials for vCenter. Once complete, hit upgrade. The pre-upgrade validations are now complete, so you will need to again select the checkboxes for all three components and provide the appropriate versions and credentials. Select Discover. Once again, select 4.04i, select HXDP, which should already contain the bundle that we uploaded previously. Select ESXi, then provide your vCenter credentials. Once complete, hit upgrade. The upgrade process has now begun. The combined upgrade workflow will ensure that only one node is brought down at a time so that your cluster remains online throughout this process, thus avoiding having to take downtime in order to complete the upgrade. The total amount of time required for the upgrade to complete will depend on the number of nodes that exist within your Hyperflex cluster. In this video, we have discussed the steps required for upgrading your Hyperflex environment from 3.5 to version 4.0. We have also covered the process of upgrading your UCS firmware as well as your ESXi software. Thank you for watching.